by the gods. Why did it have to be snakes? Help me! If you leave, these snakes will kill me! Get me out of here! Be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home. Dragged me here, tied me up, and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes? They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Someone hid the body, though I have a feeling this death was an accident. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Metiochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city, because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't 
Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of this snake seller. <laughs> Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mystios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. That's everything Pericles wanted. I'm to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles, or any other shape. You answered one of my questions, and that brought another to mind. And another. Ooh, and another. Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sofanis can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. 
Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are! Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metrun, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sophanes were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. Let's go. Let's 
The witness. There you are. That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome. Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alcibiades said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. You're right. If it's like you say, he doesn't deserve to call himself an Athenian. I'm glad we can agree. I'm just sorry you had to come all this way to find out. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Paris didn't want to do it. When he told me why, I understood. I see. Sophanes will be disappointed. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sophanes deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did matter to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sophanes the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder, then, if bad actions can reverse good, or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. <laughs> <laughs>